My Tarot Pist is now in session. Hi, my Aries people. I'm so excited that you're here. My name is Jessica. I am the owner of My Tarot Pist. Um, <laughs> if you're new here, like I am, I'm new. This is the first video I've ever done for you guys, um, for my Aries people, Aries people, sorry. Um, please do watch the intro video on my channel because it will give you a little bit more information about myself, um, how I read the tarot, and all that good stuff so that way, you know, you don't, you don't come here confused because I don't want anyone to be confused. The whole point of reading is to bring you some clarity and some guidance, right? Not confusion. We do not do that here. So, please don't be confused. Please do like this video if you like it. If you like it, like it. If you don't, don't. Um, but don't thumbs down it, please. Just, just move along. That's all right. Yeah. No hard feelings. Um, <laughs> and please subscribe. Please share the video. Please turn notifications on if you do subscribe so you know when I upload another video for y'all. Um, also, what else, guys? Um, yeah, so what we're going to do today is a tarot piss session. This is my signature spread. And if you book a personal, um, my tarot piss session with me, if they are available, there will be information in the description of this video on how to book. Um, if again, if they are available at the time of this, um, airing, I was going to say, but whenever you're watching this is when you're watching it. Um, <laughs> right. It's supposed to be for the month of June. Whenever it comes out, it comes out like, listen, energies are fluid. Whenever you're meant to watch us, you'll watch it. Um, but anyway, what I do in this reading is I take a look at your mental energy, um, your interpersonal relationships, um, what's bothering or distressing you and your emotional energy. So it's just like an overall little quickie energy check, right? Although if you book, like I was going to say, the, the um, personal version of this, then we go a lot more in depth. I clarify with dialectical behavioral therapy skills cards because that is what inspired this spread, um, dialectical behavioral therapy. And it just like, it's a lot deeper. This is going to be, you know, quick, fast and in a hurry version as quick as we can. Right. So let's just stop delaying and just get to it. Right. Okay, cool. So if you would do me this kind favor, please look into my eyes on whatever device you're watching this video on. Okay. Okay. That is just how I tap into y'all's energy. And even though we're doing that little fun practice, energies are fluid. So, or yeah, they are fluid, but also like this is general, right? So it's like, I like, it's impossible for me to tap into each person's very specific situation. So we are going to do our best to get as many messages out as possible in as quick a time as possible so that we're covering, you know, everyone's such as many people's situation as we possibly can. Um, whatever, however, I we're feeling led as we go through this reading. All right, let's just get to it. Okay. I'm going to split the deck in your direction. What's going on in Aries mental energy? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on in Aries mental energy? Oh, nice one. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, y'all are dropping some burdens. I think you've, you've come to some realizations it's time to move on from situation or something. Some of you are leaving a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio behind, particularly for my feminines here. Um, yeah, especially if it's a Cancer that y'all are dealing with. I've heard that Cancer... Okay, listen, let me just say this real quick. So I am a, a Cancer sign, Gemini Cusper. Um, and I keep hearing that Cancer and Aries is like a very common um, pairing. Listen, y'all, I think I met one Aries in my life that I was like attracted to. <laughs> and I don't mean that I'm not attracted to Aries. It's just like, I don't meet them very often. I, I don't, I don't know if I know. I, I know people with like Aries placements and other, not their sun sign, but like an Aries sun, I don't know that I know any. 
and I apologize if you're watching this and I know you and you're like, um, hi, me, but I can't think of one right now, honestly, truthfully, but like, here's the deal, y'all, you all are taking your power back and you're moving toward direction of victory. In your mind, you have mentally moved on from a situation that was burdensome. And you're like, you've come to this realization of like, listen, Linda, listen, I gotta get out of here, okay? I gotta move on. You're, you're, you're putting yourself first right now, okay? You may have been in a situation, wow, there was somebody, like, let me just say, ooh, it could have been, <sighs> yikes. Okay, I see why you're moving on. This this was a um somebody might have had um an addiction problem or someone might have just been really immature or there was like some toxicity in this connection, okay? Even though I feel like this person was like was like, but wait, let me I've got all these things to offer you. I'm coming like and you're just like, nope, sorry, moving on. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, there was toxicity that you were aware of. And it may have been a situation for some of you where someone was like, I've changed. I'm better now, right? You know, they may have been wrestling with some addictions, like for real, for real. And it might have been a thing where, um, or you were, but I feel like this might have been somebody in your life. Um, if this is some of you, some of you honestly are dropping some addictions or some burdens, right? And, and moving toward... Um, you know, starting a new beginning elsewhere or just getting your confidence back. Some of you could be healing from something. Maybe it, it could even be like, honestly, like a mental health issue for some of you that you are healing from and, and releasing in your life. And, and, um, you finally kind of got your mojo back and, you know, feeling good again about yourself and feeling confident again. Um, but for a lot of you, it could definitely be like a person that you're dropping. Um, you know, it's like almost like you tried to have a new beginning with someone that you thought was transformed, but they really weren't. They hadn't really given up what they said they gave up. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, they hadn't really released it. And you're just like, you know what? You're still you're still in that toxic energy or behavior. And I just can't deal with it anymore. I have to go be a little bit selfish right now to take care of myself and take care of my business and move forward in my life. And um, for some of you, though, I feel like you definitely are just releasing some burdens, okay? It's like you, you realize that there was too much on your plate or too many things weighing you down mentally because this is, again, your mental energy. Um, you know, you may have just been overloaded and overwhelmed and it was stunting you from moving forward. So you had to release some of these wands, you know, you went from the 10 wands to the six wands. Maybe there are literally like four things you dropped out of your life or people you dropped out of your life or, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you just were carrying too much. So you're like, I have to go. <laughs> like, I can't carry all that weight anymore. I've got to move forward. Okay. What is going on? Sorry, that's my cat, Zimmy. I have a couple cats, and they just do not know. <sighs> they do what they want. <laughs> they do what they want. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, what is going on in the interpersonal relationships for my Aries peeps? What's going on interpersonally with my Aries people? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, some of you just have lightened your load, your mental load, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't know why this, yeah, Five of Wands wanted to come out, Page of Wands. Um, so you could be developing a strong, like, physical or sexual attraction to somebody in this time. Um, hmm, hmm. Some of you might be pregnant and having a, um, a child. Yeah, some of you might have just found out that you were pregnant, literally. It might have been something that you were wishing and planning for, for some of my Aries, okay? Um... And you're just, you just like literally found out, like maybe you just got like the test results back or something like that, or, you know, it doesn't have to be that recent, but I feel like some of you have been keeping it a secret. Some of you have been pregnant, but you've been like keeping it on the low and not telling anyone. And you might have just like finally made the announcement and like revealed it like, 
P.S. I was being sneaky pants. I wasn't telling you that I was knocked up. <laughs> but but I've been planning this pregnancy for a while because it was a wish fulfillment, right? It was a dream come true. But I didn't tell anybody about it. I was keeping it to myself, you know? Um, some of you with a Leo partner, maybe, um, or another air, um, fire sign. Um, some of you are married, and, and, like, literally, it was, like, yeah, you and your spouse. Some of you might be with a, a Libra or Taurus. Um, and it's, like, you guys have been planning this. If it's for the people that are pregnant, like, you've been planning this for a while. You may have had a miscarriage in the past or lost a pregnancy in the past, okay? Um, and it's, like, now you, but now you have a successful pregnancy, and maybe that's why you were keeping it quiet for so long. Um, but now it's like you're finally coming out there and telling people like, hey, guess what? I wasn't telling you guys that I was pregnant. So congratulations if that's you. <laughs> um, that was a very clear message for somebody or somebody's. Not everyone is going to be pregnant. If it's not that, then it, it could just be any other kind of secret that you've been keeping hidden. Um, you know, you could have had a secret marriage for some of you. You know what I mean? You might have been secretly wifed up. Um, for some of you, you are... Um, it's just a little, some secrets here, okay? But some of you are, are planning something toward your future, maybe a creative project for some of you, okay? I know this is supposed to be interpersonal, um, but, you know, for some of you, it's like a situation where you might have just started talking to somebody, you know, and you might already be kind of thinking about the future with this person or trying to plan toward the future. There's this, like, sort of dreamy energy. Um, <clears throat> some of you are definitely... For some of you, you might not be talking to your mother right now, in which case, you know, you might need to open up a little bit more and share a little bit more, um, or a mother figure for some of you, okay? Not everyone. Um, and if this is, like, for some of you, this could be very much related to your children or a child, if you do already have them, where I feel like you're, um... It could be that your children are in this place where they're getting ready to maybe leave the nest or kind of go out on their own and, you know, you might be helping them plan for the future here. Um, but I, I feel like so strong, like there's a, like for some of you, a lot of you, there's a pregnancy situation. For some of you, your child might be pregnant and maybe that's why you're keeping it secret because maybe you didn't want to share that information yet or they just or you just found out about somebody in your life being pregnant and a lot of you that is definitely there's a pregnancy okay for a lot of you or some of you whoever is energy i'm tapping into right now for real for real but either way i just um i feel like you're really in a an abundant place right now i think you've got some new um ideas that are sparking some new people that you're kind of um, have an interest in for some of you, you know, but I feel like you're kind of already, if you, if this is a new person that you're just starting to like have this attraction to and talk to, either you or this person is already like thinking ahead in terms of like, oh, I want to lock this one down. Like this is, this one is, is mine. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but it's, it's definitely like a newer energy, right? And it could be that you guys are not speaking right now or, you know what I'm saying? It, or it's just like so new that there's like, the communication isn't like totally fluid yet. There's a lot of like spying and like looking at, you know, and kind of gathering the information and the intel on this person before you like take the leap forward. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's move on from there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely something you pregnancy situation for real. Please let me know. Congratulations. Okay. Um, what is going on, um, and what's bothering or distressing my Aries right now? There's a lot of fire energy in your reading, which makes sense because there you are, Queen of Wands, for some of you. Um, so interesting to me because I don't, like I said, I don't really know any Aries. So I'm like, ooh, what's going on? I feel like I'm spying on y'all. <laughs> like, what's going on? Shall we be friends? Um, okay. Mm. Okay. 
No, Simi. What do you want? Mm. So for some of you, wow, this is a lot, y'all. Okay, so let's look at the overall. So the overall is the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords, okay? And so what I'm seeing is um, some of you might be having a difficult time in a marriage for some of you or in a relationship like or if this is like you've left something behind yeah for some of you there was an ending of a relationship or something like that where um come here babes come here okay okay baby okay okay goodness sakes I feel like some of you are really trying to, um, are very stressed, okay? Like, let me not just say, some of you are having issues with, like, nightmares and dreams. Do you know what I'm saying? Or being up late at night. Some of you might have some issues with insomnia right now. Um, I feel like you're really trying to move forward. It's kind of like this energy of, like, you're trying to heal. For some of you, you're definitely trying to heal from, like, an ending to um, a relationship, right? Or if it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't, like, marriage, it could have been, like, an engagement or something that was, like, a solid commitment. And you're, you, you've walked away from it and you're trying to heal from it. But at the same time, I feel like this person might be coming back toward you, like, trying to communicate trying to like win you back, maybe give you gifts, maybe something like that for some of you. And it's like, um, you're, you're just like, it's stressing you out. Cause again, for some of you, I do feel like you started talking to somebody new, like you started something new. Okay. And, or you're trying to move toward the new, right. And leave the old and the old and, and totally heal. And it's like, I feel like somebody's not like allowing you to heal. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there is a, a soulmate energy here with this person. Like there is a sort of like karmic tie here of sorts. Take that as it resonates. So I, I feel like this person may have been maybe, maybe cheated was like really dis deceptive and dishonest. Like you definitely like they left you wounded, right? And they left you kind of stranded and you're really trying to heal. But it's like, I feel like they're trying to come back and win you back in some way. And I feel like it's causing a lot of confusion for you because you were already moving forward and you were really looking toward the new, right? And, and you know, I feel like a lot of you were just really trying, are really in this energy of trying to do you, right? A lot of you are really putting yourself first and, and congratulations. Cause I feel like for some of you, this is the first time, like, I feel like there's a wish fulfillment here that's coming true for you in your life right now, or something like a direction that you're trying to move toward or a goal or wish or hope or dream of sorts that you're trying to like move toward, right? Like, you know, that the wheel of fortune, like you've already know, like the wheel of fortune is moving in your favor in a new direction, right? Like you're moving toward a new direction and you're looking at this and you're like, I'm very clear minded on what it is that I want, right? You're, I'm very clear minded right now with the six of wands being also in your mental energy page of wands in your interpersonal so again this all kind of ties in where I feel like you guys have, have gotten your spark back You've, you're getting your mojo back you're starting to feel good again you're trying to move forward and it's like I feel like though that there's a part of this past especially if you guys were dealing with like an earth sign um Taurus Virgo Capricorn like you were healing from this person and it's like I feel though that this person is trying to have a new beginning with you and you're not having it like you don't want that because you're trying to move in a new like a truly new direction right towards your victory it's like you're putting you you realize I need to put myself first I need to regain my confidence I need to work on that and and for some of you this is like literally you're 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 dealing with insomnia or you're having like sleepless nights or a lot of anxiety and worries perhaps about this potential new beginning or new future that you're moving toward you know what I'm saying some of you are definitely dealing with some financial issues okay 
maybe you've made some bad investments that um, haven't panned out fully and, and that was stressful to you. But I feel like overall, you all's energy is good. And I feel like just keep moving in that direction that you're headed and continue to like be very firm and decisive about what it is that you want and speak very clearly what it is that you want. Some of you are, are maybe also having a difficult time speaking loving words to yourself, really speaking to yourself kindly. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so just be very careful of that as well. That, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, stay in a higher vibration. You know what I'm saying? Continue to speak life into yourself. Continue to speak truth. Okay. Um, whatever deceptive energy was maybe haunting you in the past, whether it's like, you know, you lying to yourself or you accepting lies or do you know what I'm saying? Like, don't stay in that energy. Um, keep following truth, you know, follow your truth, know your truth, be very clear minded and decisive. Okay. Don't allow this confusion to take hold because I feel like you are moving toward your abundance here, um, in the month of June or in the near future. So it's like, you know, keep going forward. Don't be confused. Allow yourself to be divinely guided. Also, do you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, seek truth and guidance from, from spirit. Like don't, um, don't get too much in your head about it. Just be like, this is what it is. This is where I'm going. This is what I want. Boom. I'm moving in that direction and don't allow anyone to distract you or deter you or pull you down to a lower level to their level, whatever it is, you know, you left situation, person, whatever, thing, place for a reason. So keep going, right? And definitely get some good sleep, you guys. Like work if if you are having some insomnia or bad dreams, um you know, take care of that. Take care of yourselves. Okay, what is going on in the emotional energy for I'm like got cat fur all over. This is lovely. <laughs> for my um, Aries friends, what is going on in the emotional energy for my Aries people? Well, that just flipped over. Okay, yeah, some of you are, are trying to rebuild um, your finances after a financial loss. You have the eight of, I'm going to go ahead and take it. It didn't flip out, but it flipped over, so I'm going to take it. The Eight of Pentacles here. So a lot of you, I think, are doing a lot of work on yourselves, again, to try to get your happiness back. Some of you definitely have been, had been dealing with some mental health issues in the past. Like, um, for those of you who, who are pregnant and, and maybe have lost a child before, you know, you might, some of that stress or anxiety or worry that you're experiencing is, like, maybe due to the fact of, like, you might be worried that this could also... Um, that that could happen again. And so, you know, you don't want to experience that loss again. And, and that's completely understandable. Um, but I'm not seeing that. Like, I'm seeing you guys moving towards something very good here. So, you know, whatever it is that you're working on, the work that you're doing, keep working on yourself emotionally. Keep building yourself back up. Keep going toward that joy, you know, trying to bring that joy back. Um, yeah, that sense of nostalgia and happiness. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think that some of you are, are worried about, um, your children or a parent for some of you maybe, um, and, or just like, you know, this, if you are pregnant with your pregnancy. So don't worry so much about it. Keep doing the work. Um, to get out of that energy again, you know, to, to get your, to, to resurrect your joy and get your joy back. Um, yeah, keep doing that, that inner work. Cause yeah, cause you're moving, you're moving toward your victory. You're, yeah, you're moving toward something very abundant for you. Okay. And if this is like, um, if it is literally like work related, what I'm showing you is Will of Fortune, um, the chariot, the, the knight of swords. Okay. Yeah. You guys are, the, you, you're a little bit too much in your head and a little too confused and worried about things. Stay very laser focused. That's very clear for you guys for this month. Like continue to keep your eyes on the prize. Do not be distracted and don't even allow yourself to distract your own self by getting in your head and worrying and allowing those negative thoughts like ruminate, you know, um, 
<clears throat> stay very laser focused this month. That's so important for you, okay? Because you're definitely moving toward victory here, whatever this is. If this is like a work-related situation that you all are in, you're starting a new project or something to, to that effect, like I feel like it's going to be very victorious for you um, as long as you keep, you know, focus and don't get distracted by other things, right? Um, keep keep those burdens drop whatever it is that you dropped remember and that mental energy like don't revisit <laughs> don't pick those wands back up you guys don't do it what advice do we have for my Aries people for whatever is left in the month of June whenever this video goes up for them all right or whenever they watch it yeah okay What advice do we have? Whoa. Oh, goodness. Lots of cards came out. Yeah, yeah, you guys, listen, listen. Keep looking toward the future. Keep doing you, okay? Ah. And, and, and drop and block any of these, anything that's burdening you. You guys need to be light in this moment, okay? You need to keep, keep it light. Keep it light and fluffy and airy and fun, right? Um, don't be juggling so much like um, definitely if you I feel like a lot of you need to withdraw from external energies whatever that is to you if that means like dropping certain responsibilities if it's just something that you don't need to involve yourself with right now do it cut the excess baggage right now you guys need to cut drop the excess baggage drop anyone that's trying to put on you do you know what I'm saying um, you need to be very laser focused in doing you in this time and keep keep it moving forward keep it moving forward do not stop do not stop and, and, and pick those burdens back up. You know, you need to be very balanced in this time and very clear-minded in this time, okay? All right, my friends. That is what I have for you for this little mini therapist session with me. Thank you for watching and also cheers to you. Now, please, go book yourself a session with a real therapist, okay? All right. <laughs> Bye.